In this lecture, we are going to learn how to show a loading spinner while the data is loading from the backend. Let's switch to VS Code. And there, the first thing which I am going to do is, I am going to create a new state. For that, we can use this use state hook. And we know that this use state hook is going to return an array. So here, I am using the array restructuring syntax. In this array, I am going to create a variable. Let's call it loading. So this is going to be our state. And let's also create a state updating function and let's call it set loading. And initially, let's set this loading state to false. So this loading state is going to keep track of whether the data is loading from the backend or not. Initially, we are not loading any data from the backend. So that's why we have set it to false. Now we want to set this loading state to true when the user clicks on the fetch user button. So in the web page, we have this get users button. So when the user clicks on this get users button, we are sending a get request to the server. So before that, before we send the get request to the server, before that, we want to set this loading state to true. Now we are sending the get request from within this fetch users function. So inside this function, before we send the get request, so before this line where we are sending this get request, let's set this loading state to true. For that, we can use this set loading function, which is a state updating function, and it will set the loading state to true. And we again want to set the loading state to false when the data has been completely fetched. And the data is completely fetched here inside this then method. So after we have updated the user state, let's also update the loading state by using this set loading function. And there, let's set the loading state back to false. Now, why we are doing this? We are doing this because we want to show the loading spinner between these tasks. So basically, we want to start showing the loading spinner when a GET request is sent and once we receive the response from the server. So before the GET request is sent, we start showing the loading spinner and once we receive the response, we stop showing the loading spinner. All right, now let's scroll down. So here we have this user details component. Now we want to show this user details component when the data is completely loaded. That means when the loading state is false. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it within curly braces like this. And before we show the user details component, we want to check if the loading state is false or not. Let's also use this end operator. So if this loading state is false, in that case, this user details component will be shown. But if this loading state is true, that means the data is still loading. In that case, this user details component will not shown. But when this loading state is true, in that case, we want to show the loading spinner, right? So let me copy this line, let's paste it here. And here, let's check if this loading state is true. That means if the data is still loading. In that case, for now, let's simply display a paragraph where we want to show this loading text. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let me click on this get users button. So you will see that there was a loading text which was shown for a second. Let me show it to you again. So if I click on this get users again, here you will see that loading text. So this is how we can display a loading indicator in our React application while the data is loading from the backend. Now here I'm simply showing a text, this loading, but instead of showing a text, I want to show a loading spinner. And for that, I have created a new component called loader. I will share the HTML and CSS with you in the description. And this loader component will show the loading spinner in the web page. So here, instead of displaying this paragraph, what I want to do is I want to use this loader component. And in order to use this loader component, we also need to import it. For that, let's use this import statement and we want to import loader from component slash loader.js. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now when I click on this get users button, you will see a loading image. Let me refresh the page. Let's click on this get users button and there you will see a loading image. Okay. So I will share the HTML and CSS of this loader component in the description. 
This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.